up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, doing an unboxing again. This time we have Geek Fuel, so kind of got this really early compared to um, when we normally get the box, so hopefully there's nothing uh, like weird about this box or something, like it's something I'm not expecting or something. So we'll just kind of open it and see. Like I said, it's very early for them, so I'm not sure if this is anything special or anything like that, but we'll just uh, see what we got in here. Um, so of course we have our magazine, which I'll just show the front cover there with a the Mario on it, so it may have some Mario stuff in here. Not sure. Um, they kind of like rearranged some stuff, but I can see why, so I'll go ahead and just grab stuff in here. So we have our Steam game, and it's for the Dwarf Run, so I assume it's like a, um, the, like, run, you know. Maze Runner? Uh, yeah, that's what it's called. The stupid maze game. But it looks like you, there's a dwarf and a, like, goblin guy on there. So that's the game for this month, which I really need to try those. I always forget about it, um, but we'll have to try it sometime. Uh, next up, we, we'll go ahead and do our shirt. Um, so it looks like it's South Park. Um, so it looks like they're in their like, superhero outfits or something, just various different <coughs> heroes and stuff like that. I don't know much about South Park, so I don't know what all these are like I've seen all these before and stuff like them in these outfits but I don't know any of their names or anything like that but it still looks pretty cool um, so not one of their best shirts in my opinion just because I don't like South Park but um, pretty nice though, overall because they usually have really good shirts so one you know bad ones like <laughs> anything about. I'm sure I'll still wear it though but it's okay uh, wish it next up we have a little mystery figure so we have a dead cool mystery thing. I don't know if we've had any of these before. I don't remember. I know I've seen them, but I don't think we've ever bought any. So let's see what fake form of Deadpool we get. So it looks like a, a waiter is what we got, because he's got a little tray and a um, towel on his arm and stuff, and he has a little waiting tray stuff like that. So I don't know like what the whole deal is with it being inside like a tube or something. I don't know what these are called. Just says mini thing. Domes is what they're called. D-O-M-Z-E-Z. -E -Z. So I guess that's why. But it has um, this little design on top. Um, looks like a Z shape. And then it's got a spot on the bottom. So you could buy a whole bunch of these and like stick them together. And it looks like it has a little thing on this side and this side that you could like attach them all to like make a whole display type thing of it. So that's really cool. I mean, I w I'm not kind of over the whole Deadpool stuff because we've been getting a whole lot of Deadpool. And I just don't think he's that interesting of a character. Um, so it'd be cool to get like something else. If it was like a whole like Marvel set so you could get a bunch of different superheroes, um, that would have been cooler. But um, getting the waiter is kind of funny though. So that's awesome. Uh, next up we have a new item which is what I said why they've kind of switched stuff around. It's called a hidden, it says hidden staircase. But it looks like it's um, Zelda related. Um, but it looks like it's a rug. So... So I guess you just lay it on the floor and because of the design it looks like a staircase going down maybe. It's hard to see on here. That way it looks like it's going up. I don't know. I don't know how to, which way you lay this thing. Oh maybe like that. I don't know. It's so confusing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Wait, wait, wait. It's Turn funny. it just a little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. This now one? it's the bars on a cell phone. Oh yeah. So yeah, I guess it's supposed to look like a hidden, like a hidden staircase. We'll see what the um, has the had this on it, which kind of fell apart. Now it's all stuck. But it says hidden staircase. Oh, and then it's just got home office dungeon, um, geek fuel exclusive stuff like that. So it's kind of weird. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if we'll use it or how useful it is because usually rug like this are kind of cheap, so they fall apart easily. Um, but it's, once again, this is why I like Geek Fuel, because we get a lot of weird and interesting items in there. It's like we've never gotten a rug out of any box, so we got one now, so that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie, I thought it was a towel. Um, and I was like, that's gonna be cool, and then you're like, it's a rug, and I'm like, yeah. well, poop. Yeah, well, can't do much about it. So next we have our pin, which again, Geek Fuel has the awesome pins that we love. And this time, it's Ninja Turtles, and we got Raphael. Which of course you could have get, could have get, could have gotten any of the three, and then of course Shredder is the exclusive, which we've never gotten any of the exclusives, so I don't know if we're just not special enough. But it says um, Turtles Two Editions coming soon, so I don't know what's going to be different about them, but 
they still look really cool. And of course, I like how it has like characteristics of all the turtles and stuff like that and everything. So I'm cool. just gonna say right now, Geek Fuel needs to make a large back stock of their pins and start selling them on their sites. Yeah, that's because be they cool. always do that. And I always want all the pins yeah. in the set, and you can't get them anywhere. Yeah, it'd be nice. Which um, I guess I really haven't looked much into it, but it'd be cool if they had like a store, like you said, a store that you could go in and buy other versions and stuff like that um, of it, because that'd be cool. Um, so that's all the items out of the box. Now we'll look in our at our card thing here and stuff. Um, so of course we have um, it's the fractured but whole is what it says is the shirt. The South Park shirt and stuff. Then, of course, on the back we have um, the Dwarf Run Steam Game, the Deadpool Domes uh, collectible item, and this one shows like a cowboy, but of course we got the waiter. Then, of course, the Hidden Staircase Floor Mat, and this says step into another dimension every single time you get out of your bathtub. It feels weird at first, but you'll get used to it. So that's kind of funny. And then, of course, the pins. Love we'll the turtle pins with the rare shredder there. Um, so that was pretty cool. And again, before we finish this up, we'll go ahead and look in the magazine. We were in this one last time. So hopefully, we, uh, one, I mean, I don't know. I doubt we'd be in it again already. Um, but it'd be kind of cool again. So, of course, we have our uh, mat, uh, floor mat thing, rug, whatever you call it. Bunch of stuff about Mario. Then we got this fractured world stuff. So you have the coon, the Mysterion, Human Kite, Tool Shed, and Professor Chaos is all those characters that were on the shirt. So that's kind of funny. Then we have some other stuff. The Dwarf Front of Game. Information about that. Then of course there are Mr. Geeky Gift things and stuff. Oh, there's a um, Power Ranger pajamas of the Green Ranger. That'd be fun. Uh... Pokemon cookbook and then we have the pictures which it doesn't look like we're in this time which as I said it'd be weird being if they put us in you know like every single time but at least we made it once that's all that matters so that's cool so that's it for this geek fuel box this month what was your favorite item out of this box bro probably the turtle pin yeah I'd probably say that too um I like last month's last month's box a lot more um, this one just didn't have as many items that I personally enjoy. Like, I like Ninja Turtles, so that's probably... I think the rug is a very cool idea. I mean, obviously, something better would have been awesome. But it's a very cool idea, putting this, putting something like this in a box. So I love Geek Fuel for stuff like that, doing different type things and stuff. Um, but that's going to be it for this very early Geek Fuel unboxing for some reason. But if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. And hit the red subscribe button to see more. And we will see you next time.